In this video, Kevin and I are going to be talking about the movies and TV shows that we watched during November. I will give you fair warning, I watched a lot more than Kevin, so you're going to be hearing me talk a lot more. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Um, I multitask, so while I'm doing work on the computer, I'm also watching a show usually, and so that's how I get to watch a lot more shows. I'm but, also playing a game. But I enjoy them, so. Um, <laughs> Usually playing a game while she's doing that, or working. This, uh, uh, the first thing is called, was called Keep Breathing. Um, it's 2022 Netflix. On Netflix, it had six episodes. Um, it says, when a small plane crashes in the middle of the Canadian wilderness, a lone woman must battle the elements and odds to survive. I saw so, snippets of that while you were watching it. So, the, a girl uh, at the very, very beginning, she needs to get from point A to point B. She's already gotten so far along her journey to the airport. And then all of a sudden, her, her, uh, uh, her next plane is canceled. And so she uh, basically hitches a ride on with these two men on their plane uh, to get to her destination. And it, uh, it is about uh, what happens after that. It was so good. It was so interesting. So you'd recommend that one? I would highly recommend that one. I, I really would recommend it. It, uh, yes, I thought it was interesting. The only thing I had to look up after I watched it, I had to look up what the writers, um, what the ending, what they thought the ending was. Because it ends, and I'm not going to give anything away, but when it ends, there's nothing like concrete, so I looked up what what they were intending. What they were intending, and I got my answers. So if you get to the end of it and you don't know the answers, look up the answers. You'll find out what the writers hmm. had intended. Okay, so that was good. There's lots of movies like that. Then I watched. This was recommended from scratch. 2022 on Netflix. It had eight episodes. An American woman falls in love with a Sicilian man while studying abroad in Italy. This was very interesting for a lot of different reasons. It was your basic boy meets girl and they fall in love and it's the basic chick flick type thing and um, it was... <laughs> It was kind of predictable, but then there were things that happened during it that kept it interesting. Um, and it was it was also interesting that um, that there like there were um, the Sicilians really wanted their son to be with someone who was Sicilian, and then the Americans they didn't know about their daughter being with the Sicilian guy, and so there was kind of um, kind of prejudice. That's the word I'm looking for. Kind of prejudice on both sides until you know the families get to know each other and all that. Um, but it was a good show. Uh, not as good as Keep Breathing, but I enjoyed it. I don't remember seeing snippets of that one. Usually, I, I, I can look over and see pieces. I don't remember. I don't remember what you were doing when I was watching that because there were eight episodes. But yeah. I don't, he he was playing a game a lot. Okay, and then I don't know how to pronounce this woman's last name, so it's like Karen Pyrie Pyrie or Peary. It was on. It's 2022, but it was on BritBox. It's only three episodes, and um, it's Karen Peary. She's a uh, um, on the police department and she she's a detective and she opens up a case about a um, murdered barmaid that happened like back in the 90s and and no one was ever convicted of this murder and like an she, unsolved crime yeah it's kind of like watching an episode of vera or something it's one of those where they're op reopening the case there's live cases there was another one that did uh, that went back yeah. yes that went back but it's kind of like that and so that was interesting and like i said it was only three episodes love this next one this was recommended i had a lot of recommendations that i was able you've to said watch. that at every one of these okay. recommend things so, and i'll so, see, see okay. if I watch them. um so the next one bad sisters whoever recommended this thank you thank you thank you bad sisters was apple tv 2022 
Um, it's about the Garvey sisters, and there's there's like five Garvey sisters. And um, um, I wrote down, um, it stars Sharon Horgan, which Sharon Horgan is in the show, he, he would know her. She That's was in the show true. This Way Up, and she was in the show Catastrophe. Do you remember where the guy from America, Catastrophe, he comes from America, and they have a one-night stand. Oh, she's yeah, in the yeah. UK. she's like a redhead kind of. Yeah, she's yeah, been, strawberry yeah. Strawberry blonde. Yeah, she was yeah, in that yeah. This Way Up, too, and you love the sister yeah. in that show. Anyway. She thinks that. You she's, do. She's, you she's said funny. she's cute. She's funny. Uh, she's funny. That's what you said. She's funny. Well, I think she's cute, too. But anyway, so one of the sisters, there's five sisters, one of the sisters is married to a total prick, and that's what they call him, the prick. And he is. He, I can't stand him. Cannot stand this That's the one where one of them has an eye patch? Yes. Okay. I, I looked over sisters, and saw that a few times. Yes. One of the sisters has an eye patch. It was wonderful. If you get a chance to watch it, you need to watch it. It's not for kids. Uh, Most of these probably There's are. a lot going on. Um, th there's a lot going on. Um, it's something has happened at the very beginning of the show and the whole show you're trying to figure out who did it who did that thing at the very beginning it's so good I loved it I would watch it again. if Kevin wanted to watch it again I'd watch the whole thing again with Kevin it was that good uh, and these these women were it, they were all really great actresses um, then I watched The Watcher so, I don't know. It's a popular one. Yeah, it was popular. I don't know that anybody recommended it. I mean, they could have recommended it, but I kept hearing about this. Yeah, the Watcher, I've heard, the I heard it this morning on the, on the radio. When and I then on. I found out that Jennifer Coolidge was in it, who I like. And um, it's 2022, Netflix. A married couple moving into their dream home are threatened by terrifying letters from a stalker signed The Watcher. So, this house is like a mansion. And it's exactly what they say it is. This couple, as soon as they move into this house, they immediately start getting these letters. And um, it's supposed to be based on a true story. But, I mean, really? I don't know. No, it doesn't mean how loosely it's based. I think it's loosely. <laughs> I think it's loosely based. I think it's very loosely. Might be dead on. You never know. I don't think so. There's too many things in there. Just odd. Yeah, that it's like they play with that. You know, there's there's no way that this. I'm not going to give anything away. Like I said, it was interesting. It was very interesting. Weird, weird neighbors. Um, that's just like any show that's based on anything. It's like you know they took liberties with conversations and stuff. They definitely you know. took liberties. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then I watched one. I actually watched this one while I was wrapping Christmas presents. <laughs> I was in here wrapping Christmas presents, and I pulled Netflix up on my phone, and I'm like, okay, what movie can I watch? I watched this movie called The Wonder. W-O-N-D-E-R. The Wonder. 2022. It's an hour and 48 minutes long. It takes place in the Irish Midlands in 1862. Um, and it's about a little girl. She hasn't eaten in four months. So they call in, they're called something, uh, it's called The Watch. So they call in this nurse and this nun, and they're gonna, uh, they want this girl to be watched for like two weeks straight to see, to make sure she's not eating anything. Right. Because or she's doing something witchy or something. Exactly. So that's what it reminds you of. It's like this council of men, and it would remind you of like something that. Uh, where is that in America? Salem. Salem. Yeah, you would think Salem, Massachusetts. That's what you're thinking of when you're watching this. The time period and everything, and the way they dress and the houses and all that. You're thinking they think this kid's a witch or something shady's going on. And, and you're wondering, too, this whole time, okay, how has this kid survived for four months without eating? It's very interesting. Very interesting. I enjoyed that and would watch that one again. Um, I've recommended that one to... I've recommended a bunch of these to other people, but that one, it's right at my sister's alley. I said, you... I said, this is you all over. You have to watch this. Um, 
Then I watched one called Inside Man. I watched enough of that to where I pretty much knew what happened. I didn't yes. sit and watch it, watch it, but I'll I I, take my headphones off and kind of listen. And yeah, watch because for a I played while. it out loud. Yeah. And because I knew Kevin would be interested in it. So it was, it was interesting. It has David Tennant. So David Tennant w played one of the doctors, Doctor Who. He also played. What was it your, your sister said? That's the one where he's a priest. And no, you said, she yeah, knew. that's it. So I said, we, that's yeah, it. we knew, she um, knew what it was. He also, David Tennant, if you ever watched the series Broad Church, yeah, that's excellent, good show. excellent series. Um, I think they had several seasons of that. At least two. Uh, it was if wonderful. Not three. But David Tennant, he plays a vicar. And he, something, so, something happens. Something occurs. Something happens <laughs> with one of his parishioners. And he, he, there's something on a flash drive. I can tell you that. There's something on a flash drive, and, and some one of his parishioners gives him this flash drive, and he says, please hold this for me, because if I get caught with this flash drive, I'm going to get in trouble. <coughs> so David Tennant takes the flash drive. Something happens to where somebody else sees what's on that flash drive. And it just goes to, It goes from there. It goes to hell and after it's, that, honestly. It's <laughs> nothing like what you would expect no. from a vicar. Well, that one event was like, wow. Well. <laughs> and then everything goes off that event. Yes. Much. Yes. And. Without giving anything away, I'm trying yeah. to be as vague as possible. Well, and I would like to say who I blame for all of that. You can blame. I can't tell you anything. Just watch it. It's inside man. It's wonderful. Watch it. Yes. Uh, I agree with you. One person said one thing and. and and that that's was what it. caused all of it. Um, there's four. There's only four episodes. I binged it. I watched it all in one day uh, while I was working on the computer. Totally worth it. Um, then I watched Trainwreck. Okay. It is a train wreck too. Trainwreck Woodstock '99, uh, 2022 Netflix. There's three episodes. It's a documentary. Ashley recommended this to me, and honestly, I. I'm glad she recommended it. I'm glad I watched it. I didn't know anything about it before. Um, this, this is, uh, so they had Woodstock, the original Woodstock was in 1969, and it was all about peace and love and getting along and all that. Getting high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what most of them did. That was not the case with this one. This one was, um, I think the intent behind it was good. And the way they, I only saw some of the first episode, it sounded like it kind of started that way, mm -hmm. but then it quickly developed into It was awful. Other it was awful. It, uh, it was full of rage and uh, destruction. And um, I tell you what, I didn't know anything about uh, Fred Durst or Limp Biscuit, but he has a song. I wrote it down on here because I, it's called Break Stuff. Break Stuff. So it was already, I mean, you're talking about uh, all these people. It, it was just, there's, you don't watch it with your kids. It was a madhouse, but he, Fred Durst got up there and people were already in this tightly packed space. And I mean, packed. it was, it's like, if you had an emergency in the middle of all these people, you ain't getting out because I mean, it, you, dangerous, very, very dangerous. Um, but he got up there and I think, I don't think he caused it but i think he made it worse i think he made that situation 10 times worse to where uh the war the lyrics i looked up the lyrics to the song break stuff and i thought what in my reading that why would people want to listen to this i don't know why you it's would, like heavy metal headbanger mosh yeah but it's pit it's kind of it's stuff, full it? of hate yeah, and like, I've never heard it. it's like, I only know one Limp Biscuit song. It's like they, everything about what their life and what they've been going through is just like, it's horrible. And it's all the, these lyrics are just one thing after another. And they're mad at their parents and they're mad at their friends and they're mad at the world and everything's gone wrong for them. So basically let's just break stuff. Um, and, and he got on stage and instead of, 
you know, he had the opportunity to calm these people down, and instead, it went haywire. It, it was just awful. Um, there, I wrote it down. Uh, hold on, because I want you to know this. Um, it said um, at least five women were raped during this, Woodstock 99. Um, and that doesn't even count the number of women that were groped and... Or that didn't report it. Yeah. Um, at, that's why I wrote down at least. Um, at least five women were raped. There were many accounts of sexual assault. Uh, 1,200 admitted to the on-site medical facilities. Um, they saw 125 patients um, every hour over uh, two medical tents uh, near the main stage. Um, many admissions were for uh, heat exhaustion and dehydration. Uh, due to the heat wave and the lack of water. When well, they said the water was like four dollars a bottle, and people weren't willing to pay for it. Right. So what they did was, when you were, they were going into Woodstock '99, they confiscated their water bottles. Which, Probably hoping to get rid of alcohol and stuff. Right. But they also were forcing you to buy the water that was priced. The prices were jacked up, like for, like Kevin said, four dollars a bottle. And then towards the end of it, they were more like. I think they said like $12 for a bottle because it was a, such limited uh, limited supply. Uh, people got trench mouth, which I didn't know what trench, know trench mouth trench was. Mouth. It is a condition that causes gum bleeding, swelling, and pain, and ulcers. It was a widespread issue at Woodstock caused by a buildup of bacteria in the mouth. Many festival goers experienced it as a result of the sewage on-site leaking into the drinking and shower water Lovely. so you you saw these scenes because there was of, a camping area you saw these scenes of a lot of people playing in the mud and stuff like that and there's this woman on there saying you didn't realize a lot of those people that thought they were just playing in the mud were actually playing in sewer, sewer. Yeah. it was yeah it was poopy water uh so anyway it it, it, it sounds like an interesting documentary. It's an interesting documentary. It, uh, okay. a lot of, I prepare looked, to be annoyed. <laughs> I looked up, yes, prepare to be annoyed. I looked up like what has been the reaction to this and a lot of, especially like women's magazines and stuff like that are, were upset because they downplayed the rapes. They didn't talk about it. It was like, you've got this whole th three part documentary that took place. It took place over like three days. And it's a little bitty mention of that. Like just uh, when they were going through stats or something. It's kind of. It's just it. like, it, it, and I mean. That's... I heard a lot of people got groped and stuff because they were doing like body surfing or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. And, but they were topless. So the men would like just grab them as well, they were going and, around. Yeah. It, it's just, uh, it, it was, it's disturbing. So just know that and unless you want a real view of something like that then don't watch it because it is disturbing Drugs and alcohol it. and no if, um, if no control no that rules. is <laughs> that is nowhere those are not my kind of people that's nowhere that i would ever want to be was. um no i would i've never been interested in being in big crowds like that as, as a matter of fact with everything that's gone on in the past few years i have an aversion to to it would take a lot for me to go to a concert like that. So, like, I know that uh, there's a certain performer that hasn't been on tour in a long time. And she's come out and she's going to go on this tour. And you've got millions of people wanting tickets. I personally would be terrified. Just, it, it, we, we live in uncertain times. I, I would be terrified. I'm it's glad a, my kids are older. Uh, it's funny you mentioned that. I've, I've been in meetings 10 meetings a day, it seems like. Every one of the meetings I went to, at least one, if not four or five people, ha have either actively got the flu or they're just getting over the flu. Everybody said and, the flu, yeah. And they were saying um, a lot of it's because they were in contact with people and family that had the flu. So they've right. just spread it all around right. to, to people that, because they hadn't been around people for two years. And all of a sudden this year, they've decided to go do Thanksgiving. Got sick. Everybody has the blood. <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, so that that that's on Netflix. And then uh, we watched a movie that Kevin's probably forgotten all about. We watched it with the kids. The kids came over and spent the night. Oh, it, yeah, was it was called good. The Bad Guys. Yeah, it was cute. It was uh, 2022. Gavin it's, picked that one up. It's on Netflix. I'm so glad he did. Yeah. 
Um, it's an animated movie. So I think he was hoping for bad guys because he likes the bad guys, but it wasn't that kind of movie. This is the description. To avoid prison, a gang of notorious animal criminals pretend to seek being rehabilitated. Uh, only for their leader to secretly find that he genuinely wants to change his ways. So, this movie reminded me of, it's an animated version, but it'll remind you if you've ever seen the movie Entrapment, but then if you've ever watched like an Ocean's Eleven, it's yeah, like, that, like that, but yeah. it's animated and it's with these animals. Yeah. It was a, so a good. A fox, I mean a, a wolf and a... There's a snake and... A snake and... It was so good, and we all liked it. The yeah. kids liked it, it we liked it. It is very, very yeah. cute. It's worth yeah. watching. Yeah, definitely. And then um, Yellowstone has come back on, mm -hmm. Peacock, and of course it's about the Dutton family, and they own a ranch in Montana. You either like it or you don't like it. You know, at this point in time, if you've watched it and don't like it, it's not going to change your mind. But, no. But, oh, I still enjoy it. I fully expected that... Eight, 1883 yeah. I fully expected it to come back on and yeah. it's, it ended it it's not instead they're jumping to like 1923 something. or something and they're going to do a series on that so uh, but yeah either you like it or you don't I like the show I honestly really don't care for any of the people I don't even know that you're supposed to necessarily like any of the people yeah I really don't I mean I Yay. mean, you know what they're trying to do it for. Mm -hmm. You, you kind of know their ideals or what they're trying to do is is supposed to be good. But then again, the way they do it is not good. So, yeah. so I told Kevin, I said, you kind of like gangsters holding on to their their power in in Las Vegas. You know, it's kind of like that. It's it's but it's in Montana. <laughs> right. So I told Kevin, I said, I like watching it. It's a good show. But I don't necessarily like any of anybody in this family. I think you're supposed to really like the Duttons and care about them and all that. They're all crooked in some way. So, I mean, I yeah, just, I don't like any of them. I like watching the show and seeing what's happening and Rhett and all that. But I, I don't really, they're, they, those aren't my people either. I'm not going to hang around with them. Um, I really like, the only one I really I think is good in that show is the the brother that's got the long uh, kind of blondy hair with the, where's the hat all where they all wear at? But he's got the sandy blonde hair. Um, he was a marshal. Oh, the one that was a marshal. I can't think of his name. My sister yeah, thinks he's... got a he's, son. He's married. He got as a son. He's really the only one that's married and has killed children. And his wife uh, on the show, his wife... Uh, had an accident. Yeah. Um, I don't. Season. I don't want to say too much. Um, but he. He is actually. He is. He has not done anything really. What you consider like crooked. Mm -hmm. um, that that I remember. At least. That I remember. But yeah. The rest of them, you know. Right. Kill people, throw them over a hill, you know, whatever. <laughs> right. Okay. Then uh, we're watching. We're still watching. This is us. We're on the fifth season. How many are there? Six. Like oh, there's six. There's six. So we got a season and a half, probably. Yeah, we're on the fifth season, and so we're still we're still enjoying it yeah, very I much. Want to see where it's going to go? There went. There was a time where I wasn't enjoying the episodes as much. They did this whole Vietnam story. Yeah, they did that story arch. And even though I'm interested in Vietnam, and I love war movies, I love Vietnam movies. It was so different from what we had been watching yeah. that I wasn't prepared for that to it's be. It's almost like you were watching a different show. Yeah, and so I wasn't enjoying it as much when they were focused on that. But now we're out of that, and I'm okay yeah. again. I mean, I understand the need for it. They were showing history and worth what. Happened. I do too. It was but, just, but it was so... still a shock because they didn't mix in a lot of the new, mm -mm. the current day with it. It was all yeah. just like Vietnam time. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, I love movies like that, Casualties of War, and I, I, I like those kind of movies and stuff. It just, it, it seemed different from this. What, Platoon and all those I like. Okay, and then um, we're watching The Crown. The Crown. I think we only have like one or two episodes. When though. Kevin said earlier you know, <coughs> that, that shows take liberties with conversations. Yeah, that was one of them. This is definitely one of them. They don't know what... Uh, the queen, the queen and and talked about they don't know bedroom. what they <laughs> talked about in their private time they're assuming they know what they talked about what the conversations were and Kevin still is having a hard time looking at her without thinking about Harry Potter 
It's hard to do. She was mean. She, <laughs> she uh, yeah, because, uh, yeah. She tortured Harry. She did. She tortured Harry. But this, uh, this season has focused a lot on uh, Diana and what's going on with her and uh, her interview, the big interview. And you know, the Queen's been, if you ask me, I, I, I told Tammy this earlier, I think the Queen was a, it's been a minor part. Yes. of this season so far. I mean, she's been yes. in there for sure, mm -hmm. but as far as really concentrating on what's going on with her life and stuff, it's mostly been Diane and um, uh, Charles and their son. Um, and then we're watching The White Lotus, the second season of The White Lotus. This time it still has Jennifer Coolidge, but it takes place in Sicily. Mm -hmm. And- Picture this. <laughs> um, at first, when we first watched it, it's like, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this season as much because you were doing a lot of reading. Well, they've pretty much quit yeah, doing that. Yeah, but the very beginning, you were, you were reading uh, the Italian. And now, you're not, you're, we're not having to read anything. It's all pretty much in English. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've had to read anything. Yeah. Um, and it's so good uh, occasionally you'll have to read a subtitle but not very often it's just very very rare i'm in it i'm in this season I'm yeah enjoying see what it. Happens. um i'm enjoying the characters um it's, most of the characters yes it it is a very good season. i will tell you if you watched the first season there was one one thing there were some uh sexual scenes but not a lot i remember really one where there's nudity. This season, uh, there's a lot more of that. So you need to be prepared for that. There Male is, and female. Yes, there is a lot more of it. They 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 spiced it up this time. So just just know it's in there. It's not lingering. Well, no. well. It, the one we watched last time kind of was. The, but the last night's episode. The first was, the first couple times it was very like quick uh -huh. things. Last, last night, night had was a lot. lot. At least twice. A prolonged. Lot. Yes. So just just know you don't want to watch that with your children. I don't think you would anyway. <laughs> I don't think you would. But well, and I would want you to know that like if you were okay with it in the first season and you're like, okay, it was just in there a little bit. It didn't bother me that much, but I wouldn't want any more. Well, then don't watch the second yeah, season because there's a lot more. more of it. Yeah, there's a lot more of it. And then the last thing that I have written down is I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. We just finished. Oh my gosh. We just finished it. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I always enjoy it though. I, we're still watching regular shows like Survivor and Amazing Race. And stuff. Oh yeah. We're still watching those shows, but those shows as of me filming this are, are still on. But I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Uh, just went off. And I was, the whole time we've been watching this, I thought, well, I'm going to talk about who's my favorite, who's my least favorite. I'm not going to do that. i tell you why. Because if I told who my favorites were, I would get people, and who my least favorite was, I would get people unsubscribed from my channel. Get or, some hate on it. Mm -hmm, I would get people who would not want to communicate with me anymore. I have friends who are in the UK, and I really feel like those friends would not like me anymore if they knew my favorites and who my least favorites were. Well, I were. can tell you, regardless of that, I can tell you people that surprised me. Uh, Boy George surprised me. Boy George was a huge surprise. He's, he's a little more of a um, curmudgeon, a little grumpier than you would think he is. Mm -hmm. You know, he, but you know, he says, he said it many, many times. I'm used to being on my own. I'm not used to being around all these people. I'm kind of a, uh, he sounds like he just spends a lot of time, you know, with very close friends. He doesn't socialize a lot. Mm -hmm. Now you're forced into a situation where you're where you're socializing with a lot of people and having to do things certain ways, and that was hard for him to do. I'll, um, I'll comment on him because he was my first. I've said it before during videos. My first 45 record, one of my first one of my first ones that I ever bought was Culture Club. I'll tumble for you of all the songs. Uh, I still like it, but. I love Culture Club, love Boy George. He was my biggest disappointment in there. Because he was that. so grumpy about it. Because stuff. he was grumpy, he complained all the time. He didn't think that anyone was being themselves. He he seemed to want drama. He, he seemed yeah. to really want 
he either wanted it or just didn't know how to deal with it so it caused drama yeah and so he was my biggest disappointment in there it i couldn't wait for him to go yeah when he went i was ready for him i'm to sure go. as a person he's a fine person but just in that group it was not good yeah but um, was, and a new one that we didn't know anything about that i really grew to like was owen i really like him he seems like oh yeah i like owen's him. he's 23 mm -hmm. years old he's he's on a soap opera over there and he seems just really like really just super friendly and gullible and you know it was just fun to watch him you know i like that uh baba Tunde. is that yeah. how you say his name i loved him I thought yeah we're gonna have wonderful. to look up him and sean's comedy special we're gonna have to watch a couple of those just to see what we think yeah because they're both comedians so we learned about there you know the only one i knew going in was boy george honestly was boy george yeah, yeah i don't know i don't we didn't know any of those ones no and and that's so, usually the case though but you know it's just like watching something with complete strangers over here and big brother or something you don't right. know them but you get to know them i um i was happy with the winner i'll say that i was yeah. very i was very pleased with the winner um i did not know the winner uh going into the show so i don't want to give it away if somebody has like it on dvr or something and you haven't watched it yet yeah. i'm sure if you live in the uk though you're gonna see it on, on the front of the paper yeah. you're I was gonna happy see it too. I was... but I, I, there was a lot of people on the show that I just, I was crazy about, absolutely crazy about, and, and, so we and then so there were some it. that, that I think the, the public would have really liked that I would say, mm, no, that's not my person, yeah. that, that I would not like. It's a good episode. Next year, they're supposed to be going to, is it South Africa? Yes, which yeah. is a complete surprise. And they're, they're supposed to be, I think I heard them say they're going to be pulling in some previous like previous guests so yeah so people from past shows are going to be on it in south africa that'll be interesting they usually film it in australia but during covid for like two years they, they were in wales, wales in a castle at, yes and so so this year they're back in australia so to know that they're going to south africa next year for a special or something oh that i think that's that's really really cool mm, yeah uh so um Anyway, oh, yeah. that that's and like we said, we're watching Survivor and Amazing Race, and and we're still working our way through. Um, no, that's probably we're watching Young Sheldon. Yeah. We're watching the Connors. Yeah, we're Just watching stuff shows. like that when it comes on. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't I didn't write those down. No, because, but they're you know, just the regular shows. Yeah, uh, but. Uh, once again, if you have any recommendations, because you heard how many, uh, oh, and Ashley wants me to watch, uh, there's one on Netflix called Killer Sally, I think she said. She wants me to watch that, so I'm going to watch that. We have other ones on our list. Let me look just real quick. I know Wednesday is one. When, oh, when, the show yes, Wednesday. The show Wednesday. I can't wait to start that. Um, that one's when we want to watch. Yeah. The Peripheral, maybe. Um, oh, that's that one, the sci-fi one that you said. Or is that a new Yeah, movie? it's sci-fi. Okay. Um, Umbrella Academy, we still haven't got to that. Still, um, haven't, still haven't watched Obi-Wan on um, Disney. Yeah, or the, what's the Andor or something like that. There's That's always the something on. else that I, I want to start. Like The Crown. I wanted to start The Crown. I'm a celebrity is like a, you have to watch it every single night or you're, it, you know, you're going to uh, get behind. It's every night for, what, three weeks or yes, something? Yes, so I wanted to watch that. Um, you know the Vikings Valhalla? Valhalla. That's it's coming on. That's the second season's coming on in January twelfth. I didn't even know they were doing that. Either or not, but they are. Uh that's what's that other Viking show that we watch? We haven't started it yet either. Oh C. C. It's not, really, watched... it's not really Vikings. But well, it's <laughs> it not reminds Vikings. you of Vikings. It reminds me of that. It's not Vikings, but it reminds me right. of the Vikings. But we haven't even watched that yet. No. So there's like so many things it's that, the last season of that, so. that we have to watch. And it's like I've well now that I'm a celebrity is over with, we can we start can replace it else. with another hour we'll show. Yeah, we'll re replace it with something else. But I always appreciate your recommendations. Yeah, because she'll watch them on her own. It doesn't if yes. if, if it's something I'm not hot and heavy. And for. sometimes, sometimes I've said this before. Sometimes there are things that are recommended that I've tried to watch, and it's like, ah, it's just not my kind of thing. Uh, but I always love the recommendations. Other people that watch these videos love your recommendations too. There's so much on nowadays. It almost you almost have to have recommendations. Yeah, because you have to weed through the mediocre stuff yeah. to get to the really juicy. You shows. go to any of these streaming networks and start skimming through it, and you'll be there for hours just looking at names. <laughs> well, if I had to recommend, well, you said the first two were 
Yeah, but once you get on down, there's better ones. Okay, yeah. so like, if you could watch Bad Sisters on Apple TV, I'd recommend that. And I would definitely recommend Inside Man um, on Netflix. Uh, it's only four episodes. That, that's something you can watch real quick. Uh, those are two that I would definitely recommend. And if you have kids, really the only thing we recommended if you have kids is that um, the, bad the bad guys. We didn't watch anything else. No, that was I really watched. Appropriate. Um, I watched the Peanuts Christmas special with them while they were here. Oh yeah, Kevin did watch that. She was taking a shower or something. Yeah, and it's a quick twenty-minute thing. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you again at the end of December.